Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Who's in the mood for a festive themed marble race? Snowy scenes, tacky decorations, piles of presents, and tales from the Christmas story. Twelve of your favorite nativity characters will be taking part in our first ever team event, which will see our marbles competing in four teams across three races to be crowned both the individual and the team champions. Here are the four teams, the nice list and the naughty list, the three kings and the holy family. Let us know which team you're rooting for as they line up ready for the first of our three races. We start off with this lovely snowy scene as the main man himself, baby Jesus, takes the lead. But before I even finish saying that the angel overtakes him, here comes daddy Joseph to the rescue, helping out his teammates, giving the holy family both first and second at this point. The angel caught now between two of the three kings. This new team element really does add a fresh layer of intrigue, just as we were thinking that marbles couldn't get any more exciting. Those front five marbles still looking pretty strong, but here comes Mary blazing her way through to take the lead. And she teams up with Joseph now to block the way, but Balthasar manages to sneak through with Joseph hot on his tail. The angel gives Mary the slip and Joseph is on his own now. And he falls back to third as the angel storms in front of Balthasar. They're onto the final cracker and a bump from the angel allows Balthasar to come down the middle and take the victory in this first race. Sneaky Sneaky King Herod Sneaky Sneaky's into third, pushing Joseph into fourth just ahead of his teammates Mary and the baby Jesus. And then it's all the rest of them, apart from Melchior who got stuck up a tree right at the very beginning. Here's the full rundown of who finished where and what points they got. You can also see what that does to the team scores as the Holy Family have the slightest of leads going into this second race. The innkeeper with the strongest start to this race, he's got plenty of room all to himself up in front. But Mary comes a knock in and she moves up into first place. The shepherd makes a move from the back but hits a bit of congestion which slows them all down. Lots of places exchange and it's Melchior that comes out on top. Casper's up there with him too and I wonder if we're going to see some more of that teamwork. It doesn't seem so, that's not very wise man. Casper still manages to get a very healthy lead though, far off to the east of our screen. While Melchior hits a little bit of trouble which allows Mary the innkeeper and the shepherd to move on ahead of him. It looks as though Casper has taken the gold, you certainly couldn't expect any myrrh from him. The innkeeper is leading the charge for second but Mary and Joseph are about to team up once again. Joseph gets ahead and tries to move to block the innkeeper, it doesn't quite come off. But Mary moves up to second nonetheless. The innkeeper in third and Joseph has to settle for fourth. It's a disappointing race altogether for the three kings though, despite Casper winning with Melchior and Balthasar finishing ninth and tenth respectively. We have a did not finish in this race also, the angel getting stuck on those tacky decorations. Here's how the individual points tally looks after two races. The Holy Family just about managing to hold on to that team lead despite both of our winners being from Team 3 Kings. It's still all to play for though as we go into our third and final round. The Angel starts well once again but so does King Herod and Father Christmas from the naughty list who we haven't seen that much of so far. We've actually just received a letter from one of our viewers asking why Father Christmas is on the naughty list. Well, judge not lest ye be judged is all I can say. Not to mention the fact he breaks into all of our houses every year. And I'm pretty sure that gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. That won't bother him too much though as he breaks away from the pack and makes a move on the race leaders. And takes first place just ahead of his partner in crime King Herod. The angel is desperately trying to bring about some good amidst the naughtiness. And is joined now by the shepherd too so this is a real battle between good and evil to finish this final race. It's going to be the naughty boys that come out on top with King Herod winning the race. But a late search from the angel secures that both second and third will go to the nice list. Santa claws his way across the line to hold on to fourth, just ahead of Joseph and Melchior. That dreadful 11th place finish from Casper means that he won't hold on to top spot. Let's see who's replaced him. The individual winner of our Christmas special is King Herod. Mm. 
naughty, 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 naughty. Next is the Angel on equal points with Mary, but with a slightly better record of top three finishes. They will share that podium position though with Joseph, the paradigm of consistency, taking up that final podium spot. And the winning team is the Naughty List. No, Christmas is ruined. Very close in the end, and they do win it by just one point. And if you're watching Father Christmas, it, you know we're joking, right? Yeah, you cool? We cool? Yeah, we cool. Thank you for watching. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you again in January for the Winter Marble Olympics qualifiers. Dad,